Hey Sagittarius, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a weekly reading for you for May 25th through June 1st. All right, so this week a little bit different. Um, I'm using actually all <laughs> All five of the decks that I'm using actually are my decks that I've created. Um, the first deck here is the Awakening Journey. I'm using these four because these are the four that I'm going to release first for purchase. Right, so we have messages of clarity from your soul connection. And then we have memorable moments. And then finally, we have messages of light and alignment. All right, so we're going to clarify with tarot, okay? But you can use these with or without tarot cards, as you'll see, okay? All right, so let's take a look. First card out for you, we have mutual connection, connection, sensing. So look at this. It's the card number two. All right, so two is for duality. It's for two people. So there are two people involved here. All right, and there's a mutual connection. Connection. I don't know why I can't say that. <laughs> there's a mutual connection um, that both of you are sensing right now. I kind of look at this card as the Two of Cups. All right, and then we have authenticity may not be practical. I will say this card has come out probably more than any other card um, in this week's readings. So. It's interesting. So there's a connection here that both people are absolutely sensing and feeling. But somebody here isn't being fully authentic. That could be you. That could be the person that you're watching the video for. Or it could be both of you. All right. And, you know, maybe both of you feel like you can't be authentic with each other because it's not practical in either of your lives. You know, and that could be the case for, for a lot of reasons. There could be a huge distance between the two of you. One or both of you could be in other committed relationships. Um, there could be children involved. There could be a lot of reasons why this connection may not seem practical. Okay, but you know, at the end of the day, choosing practical and not being happy, you know, that's one direction you can go in for sure. And then maybe being authentic and choosing your heart's desire, that's another way you can go. But no judgment on either direction, all right? All right, so let's see what else we have here. All right, it says you were different. Okay, so I feel like your person feels like you were something special. You were very different than other people that this person might have dated or been in a relationship with. You were different. All right, and then we have currently in separation. 
So it feels like the two of you are probably not together right now. All right, if you're currently in separation, this may not be for all of you. But this person definitely feels like there was something special about this connection. And, you know, this card fell next to this one here, which, you know, again, authenticity uh, may not be practical right now. And that could be why the two of you are in separation. What do we have here? All right, we have nothing but. So whenever we get that card, that means another card is required. And then we have temptation. One more card here. Look at this. Nothing but attachment and temptation. So both of these cards, you know, it feels like um, both of you are very tempted by each other. You're tempted to be authentic with each other. There is definitely attachment the two of you have some type of attachment to each other, possibly because both of you might feel that the other was very different from other people that they've encountered. You might have felt very, very different around this person, and this person could have felt very, very different, you know, around you. All right, but there is definitely a mutual connection here. And then we have something that feels like a problem is actually a delay. All right, so, you know, this could be referencing this separation. This separation could feel like a problem. Being or feeling attached to this person could feel like a problem to you when actually it's, it's just a delay. A delay to this mutual connection that both of you are sensing. And then we have accidental occurrence turns out to be divine intervention. So it feels like this is coming. An accidental occurrence turns out to be divine intervention. In other words, if the two of you are currently in separation, something, someone, something is going to occur, occur that might bring the two of you together if the two of you aren't speaking at all or aren't in contact at all. It feels like there might be something that puts, puts the two of you right in front of each other. And that would be divine intervention. And that also could be why, you know, if this feels like a problem or if this feels like something that, you, you know, maybe you're tired of it. Maybe you don't want to be feeling like you're separated from somebody that you feel truly connected to. But it's actually just a delay. But there's a lot of temptation here. There might be temptation to, to reach out. Nothing but attachment. So, you know, the two of you might feel very a very strong pull to one another. And that's really confusing and that's really um, frustrating by being in separation at the same time. That's a confusing energy. But again, one or both of you feels like you can't be authentic with each other because it doesn't feel practical. I'm kind of feeling like that might be both of you at this point, okay? All right, so let's see. So we're gonna take a look. Um, we're gonna look at what numbers come up. You know, the most common numbers that show itself in this reading. Also, you know, what color shows itself more than anything. All right, so the first card I wanna look at is this authenticity might may not be practical. And then we have the Eight of Wands. Okay. 
authenticity may not be practical. And then we have the Eight of Wands, which could mean that there's a, a decent distance between the two of you, but it also talks about um, communication. There is desire here for communication in some manner. What is the communication about? Reconciliation, judgment. So it feels like somebody wants to talk to you. Somebody wants to talk about, you know, would it be practical to consider coming back to each other? Okay, that's what they want to talk about. Let's see. Let's look at you were different. Ooh, goodness. All right, so we have Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is the energy of some type of betrayal. Okay, this person or you might feel somewhat betrayed by the other. You might both feel betrayed. What was this betrayal about? Four of sword or four of pentacles. All right, so I don't know why I'm getting this, but I feel like, you know, and it could be because this this card here, um, the mutual connection, I feel like this was both of you in some way. You know, I feel like you both feel somewhat betrayed because both of you could have held back in different ways. One of you might have ghosted the other. One of you might have, you know, said something but never did anything about it. I feel like in some way you both held back and you both felt betrayed by it you know and that could be you know unfortunately that could be what makes you different right now okay that this is the most recent memory between the two of you somebody wants to talk about this somebody wants to talk about you know this could be you this could be the other person but somebody wants to talk about is there a possibility for this to, to come back together. All right, so let's look at currently in separation. We have Knight of Cups, yeah. So, yeah, so we're currently in separation. There. Currently in separation, but what's going on while we're in separation is Knight of Cups, which is all about thinking about the feelings that we had before. Thinking about the feelings between the two of us, what it could have been, how deep it went because you were different. But Knight of Cups says that, you know, this could be secret love. Somebody might not have ever expressed their real true feelings. That could be what was being held back. And that could have been, again, that could have been both of you. All right, so let's take a look at this row right here, temptation. All right, so we have the moon card of Pisces. Um, I feel like Whoever the feminine is in this connection, I feel like there is a lot of temptation towards her, okay? Um, the moon does represent femininity. This card is the, the energy of allowing. It's also the energy of not having any clarity. So I feel like the temptation has been risen because there hasn't been a lot of clarity here. There's been a lot of holding back, you know, Knight of Cups. Somebody really, really spends a lot of time going over the emotions that they had with the other person. But it's like, it's almost like it's like, what's the point of having the emotions if you never share them? 
but somebody, both of you, are sensing. So this almost feels like it's an unspoken connection, like a really deep unspoken connection. What's this attachment? Okay, so we have strength. So card of Leo, um, So the strength card is always about, you know, taming some type of beast. And I feel like that beast is, there's possibly, um, there's possi possibly an attachment here that is unhealthy. And it might not be between the two of you, but it might be with somebody else. There might be an attachment to somebody else that is unhealthy, that you or this person is working out. Something that feels like a problem is actually a delay. What do we have here? Look at death, Scorpio, card of Scorpio. So something that feels like a problem is actually a delay. And then we have the death card, which is about an ending or transformation that's happening here. So if you know this separation feels like it's a big problem it's because here it is something is ending for this person possibly some type of attachment that they have or they themselves are transforming in some way here all right so i want to pull a card for this too the mutual connection We've got Three of Swords. So I feel like sometimes the Three of Swords is about a heartbreak, right? Um, somebody could be heartbroken over, you know, this connection that might have never gotten off the ground. But also there could be um, a disbelief happening here, like a dis disbelief as to whether or not this really ever existed whether this connection was ever really real. All right, so moving over here, an accidental occurrence turns out to be divine intervention. All right, and then we have five of cups. So this is interesting. I almost feel like the two of you might come together over some type of upsetting news, mutual, mutually upsetting news, like the news of somebody like some type of bad news might actually bring the two of you together. It might be an actual death of somebody that you both know. Somebody that, you know, has already past, not somebody that is going to pass, okay? But I feel like there is, like you almost come together because of sadness, or you come together because, you know, of bad news. But this bad news could literally bring you back together, reconcile you. An accidental occurrence turns out to be divine intervention. So don't be, honestly, don't be looking for bad news, okay? Um, but with the Five of Cups and the Death card here, you know, that tells me that there's something, there's something that's that might be going on that's outside of the two of you, okay? But something brings the two of you together that's outside of both of you. All right, so let's look for numbers here, all right? So we've got, we've got a lot of numbers here. We've got three, we've got two, we've got seven. We've got eight and five, 13, which breaks down to a four. So we've got two fours. So fours are indicators that um, 
that something is happening in the physical world right now, okay, between the two of you. So this is not all in your head. We also have the Eight of Wands and the Strength. We have two eights. So that's about personal empowerment and ambition. So I feel like somebody or both of you are feeling somewhat ambitious in the physical world. Maybe ambitious to, to allow this, this connection to come together. As far as the color, I have to tell you, I mean, the color that stands out to me the most, I guess, is pink. Pink and green, which both can indicate heart chakra. So coming from a place of I love, you know, I feel like, I feel like there's been a lot, quite a bit of time, quite a bit of time for both of you, you know, since this was together or since this was something that was extremely heavily on your mind. I don't think it's heavily on your mind, um, like on a daily basis. I feel like this has been, you know, kind of put on the shelf, but it might be resurfacing right now. And I feel like it's because of something outside of the two of you that might not be the best news that might allow you to start talking, coming together. You know, it might allow the two of you to put practicality to the side and actually be authentic with each other and allow you to actually feel and believe the connection again. I feel like you did believe in it at one point, but I feel like there was a mutual betrayal here in some way because both of you held back something in some way. And, you know, I feel like you're currently in separation because neither one of you really spoke your feelings to the degree that you were feeling them, Knight of Cups. Nothing but attachment requires strength, okay? You know, fighting the beast or taming the beast of attachment, I feel like somebody here might have been attached to somebody else and that could have been their focus and that's what they're trying to overcome right now. There is temptation here, but it's not completely clear. The feelings aren't completely clear. I don't feel like either one of you completely understand the feelings of the other. All right, so that can lead to a lot of confusion. And then here we have something that feels like a problem is actually a delay. And then we have death, which is about an ending. This could be ending right here or something within this person is transforming. And then we have the Five of Cups, which, you know, always has the Two of Cups in it. So somebody might be focus, focused on the Three of Cups within the Two of Cups, the three empty cups that have spilled over, and the Two of Cups that is sitting right in this card, the mutual connection right here is going to be allowed to be focused on because of an accidental occurrence that turns out to be divine intervention. I feel like that's really what this reading is about right here. Letting you know that this, you can possibly look out for this, that this could be happening. All right, Sagittarius, that is what I have for you for this week. Um, if you are looking for a personal reading, just reach out. I will respond quickly and we'll get you taken care of. Otherwise, I will talk to you next time and I wish you much love. All right. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.